Okay, bit of a sad times, and I thought this is probably be a better second. I wanted to do a uh, Spring of Sorrow type video, but I'm probably going to save that to tomorrow because I wanted to do like a few other kind of odds and ends. Another chapter draws to a close, as I even kind of like end my chapter in this house, uh, which will be happening next month, which I've been in this house since, what, um, eight years? So the same amount of time that... I had a mess, like kind of a, a thing from Kabam Mike, which I'll talk about in this video a bit more. But yeah, Kabam Mike is leaving Kabam. Um, there's a lot of things to unpack with it. I'm kind of still in a questioning as to why now. What, there must have been like a good opportunity that came his way to kind of like take him in a different direction. But he says, uh, in this is a post on Twitter. Well, summoners, it's been a long road, but today my journey ends. As of today, my time with Kabam has come to a close. Like uh, today, like it's just, just comes boom like that. I don't think this is budget cuts because it's it just seems something that's been planned. But I would say because this is such a, a big thing that it's kind of like just been well, waiting to this moment. Some people may care, some people more, may not. If you don't know who Command Mike is, he is uh, the like head community manager, uh, organizing and kind of triangulating a whole bunch of different things over different games, I believe. And that's... Uh, you know, got lots of responsibilities, lots of hats he wears, and there's been a lot of things over the years that he's uh, helped to shout the community's frustrations, and in some cases he's had wins, in some cases he's disagreed and has pushed back on the community when it comes to certain other elements. But, and so, so he's taken our abuse on board, and also he's done some other stuff. The thing is, he has done some good things, as much as there's been some stuff where I don't agree with that he's done, uh, or kind of like what things he said, or things he's kind of translated from the game team uh look at the end of the day it is what it is like there's a yin and yang to it there's always a there's always a kind of a driving force like there's always it's never always going to be negative and it's never always going to be positive there's going to be a mixture of both and you have to decide and know how much you either like or don't like about mike when it comes to or mike now as he's dealt with certain situations and now he's leaving uh, of course i've seen some people that are just like being trollish on this one um on this subject and not you're open to your opinion on stuff but sometimes you kind of go like well just just say thanks and move on uh if it, if this if this person has annoyed you then why are you letting people live rent free in your mind like I, I don't really don't get that move on just just move on if something's a problem for you just move on just move on granted you can't do that with mcfc but in any case um you know respect to mike and um he says i know there's been ups and downs trials and tribulations but i have loved every minute uh with every one of you it's nice nice to say that you know after that um 12.0 gate and loads of different ones as well like uh, act six gating funny enough uh, anything recent? There's been tons of stuff recently. Uh, the shocker situation where poor transparency in communication, but also there's been like you know great things. Battle Realm Brawl, of course, was 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 great. You know, Night One wasn't too great, but that's the thing, isn't it? You're not using like top quality esports kind of uh, co uh, not commentators, but um, well, you're not using the commentators. You're using members of the well, not CCP because it's kind of like Kabam approved CCP. Uh, if you know what I mean. In any case, we'll come. We'll talk about some more stuff in a minute. But he said, "I am so proud of everything we have accomplished together, from building a thriving Discord and Twitch community to a massive live event at Battle Realm Brawl, and every little interaction with the message we had every day in the forums and here. I will always look back fondly on my time. I uh, look back at time of command with you all very fondly. But the time has come to move on, and we will miss you." I will miss you. So I don't know where all this kind of like has, has come from. Is it a case new opportunity, new job? Yeah, I, ho I hope I hope so. I really do. Um, the game, the gaming industry is not what it is not what it was. You know, as somebody got laid off in actually it's a year to this day. Funnily enough, a year to this day where I got laid off, um, and that was scary. It really was. I love that job. I really did. That was probably one of the best jobs I've ever had in my um, in my career. And, and kind of like losing it just then. I, I don't think that Caban Mike's been laid off. Sorry, Mike has been laid off. Uh, I think it's just a case of like an opportunity has, has come his way. And whatever it is, whether it's in the industry or out of the industry, um, yeah, I hope that uh, he has all the success. But it's been nice to kind of like look back on some kind of like fun things. Something like I've kept personally to myself, like I've kept quite dear, is uh, is is this. This is from a 
forum post back in 2016. So back in 2016, this particular channel was was not wasn't wasn't a wasn't a big channel. It was um like about 100, maybe about 200 subscribers at the time. Where a lot of people are, you know, um we, we featured on the channel Spectre recently, who's growing their channel. I've recently been growing my Marvel Rivals channel, which is you know, gathering a new type of community. A very much a case of PvP, PC, console and um, some of the Overwatch community. Uh, not MCOC community, this is a new community. The Overwatch community have come over to the, this new channel. So it's kind of like, it's really exciting in some ways to grow a channel from, like, you know, from, from nothing. Um, I know some of you have come over to the channel. I appreciate everybody. And it's always the link in the description if you do want to check it out. Uh, but it's not everyone's cup of tea because it's not mobile. And that's good for me because I want to kind of branch out a little bit into into different areas. Um, but, uh, look, you know, back to this. And the point was where I was at at the time. Of course, I do a lot of... I, I think I was very critical of stuff with kabam and there was rumor that there was a bit of a well i don't think kabam members were too happy with the fact that i was critiquing their game which is kind of weird because you should really accept as a developer that people uh, and you should be open to criticism on matters but over the years you know I've, I've grown up as you do and we have to look at things from both sides of the things and give as much the balance to the negative as much to the positive at the same time and kind of give you enough information to draw your own uh, conclusions. So when I saw, you know, I saw this in the forums back in the day, it was kind of like, it was cool. And it was a badge of honor to go, I was noticed by the developer because I didn't think the developer really kind of cared too much about what I had to say. So I had to say, but that's the thing about Command Mike and as well as Dora, like they at least had me and many other small creators on their radar as well as they do now to a certain degree. I hope it gets better because I do worry that Kabam aren't really looking at loads of creators nowadays and interacting with them that much. But, um, you know, he said that these are sa the same creators. This is a, basically a special event went on and it, I think it was very much kind of like, uh, you know, your Brian Grant, Seaton and a few others as well. Um, and I didn't think, I didn't, I didn't complain. I, I just maybe said that like, well, I wasn't asked. Um, I wasn't part of any kind of early CCP in that time but as it says here you know uh but, but we like uh but like we said before this is because it's just a test run a beta test so to speak in the future we plan to plan on casting a much wider net at, with these kinds of things including a bunch of youtubers uh, that i know you guys really like personally i'd like to work with rich the man big fan uh, and that that meant something to me because it was like um i thought that the uh, even though that my channel has been running a lot longer, I think I'm still the longest running Marvel Contest of Champions YouTuber still at it on a daily basis, that I got noticed. And that meant something to me. Granted, you might be wondering and saying to yourself, well, Rich, you kind of like critique, uh, you know, Kabam Icon stuff that he said, or Kabam Jacks and many other people at Kabam, you know, find things that I, I personally see as contradictions. You know, good example recently was, uh, you know, Kabam Jacks posting that thing about your bad at Battlegrounds and here's why. Uh, but then there's a contradiction to that with Kabam Crash said that there was a uh, statistic, statistic, not statistic, yeah, statistic advantage with the first drawn. It's not a ridiculous statistic advantage, but it does kind of upset the thing about unfair and fair. Therefore, critique, not critiquing, but uh, being... Uh, hypocritical to what was posted about being some elements to that you're bad at the battlegrounds um, post but at the end of the day again the same thing remains look we can be we can have like difference of opinions on stuff and same thing like you know comments people are you know i see you know people will be able to you're fine you can you can critique me that's fine uh but we still appreciate and love the game that's it. The same thing with Kabam. Kabam can say this, this, and this, and I can go, well, no, I'm not sure about that. Same way, anyway, any player can go, well, I disagree with this, but it's fine because we still appreciate the game. And that's good. It's good to see, you know, good f kind of level-headed opinions uh, on matters. But uh, yeah, I'm still, I'm still kind of like, yeah, it's, it's sad to see Kabam might go, if I'm being honest. At times, Kabam might could be very... Um, well, savage, uh, I think, is a word I've seen quite a bit when it comes to, you know, just how he deals with people. 
And that could be for a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, here's one of the highlights. This was, I think, in response to like somebody who was saying about was he cheating or being rude or something or other. We said, uh, what's worse than being banned? Having your six star ascended 565 signature 200 Hercules removed from your account with nobody willing to give it back to you. But you won't have to worry about that until you get back in 30 days from that ban. You also got missing the holiday events, banquet and anniversary festivities. Have a nice day. I love that because it is just, <laughs> it's just the quintessential uh, Caban Mike being savage. And I think this is the thing, like I, I love it when Caban are like this towards people that legitimately deserve bans and are de definitely kind of like disrespectful for stuff. But of course, as I said, that you should be able to have a critique and, have your say on stuff when it comes to the game. Um, you know, we talked about the Battlegrounds is bad uh, situation and why it's like, yes, acceptance is the last part of grief, but also Kabam have to accept that they should be open to criticism about the quality and the consistency of this game. Let's finish up the video by just saying that, you know, thanks to Command Mike. Of course, there's gonna be people out there that don't like Command Mike, and that's fine. You can like and dislike whatever and whoever you like for whatever reasons. But I would say, if you've worked in things like retail, customer complaints, customer relations in general, times when customers or service level have been difficult, or uh, I'd not say difficult actually, been hostile or, you know, negative, frustrated, and projecting a lot of their negativity and annoyance towards you. You. Uh, and you are not the person that can action improvements or fixes and that's you know command mike like as much as it's at times i'm i get frustrated with command mike i suppose or any other member of command where i'm like i i think or i personally believe or the community believes in this positive change but it's not being actioned uh it's um yeah it's frustrating it is very frustrating and i guess the thing is like command mike is been working for a long time on on being the community manager for this game and head of community or whatever it is and we have given obviously a lot of complaints and frustrations to him but he's always stayed and you might be wondering like oh should i care well look there's a lot of different community managers over the years that have not stayed. I've given you loads of examples, you know, uh, uh, Kabam Thel, we don't know about Kabam Boo, um, I think Adora was cut i think there was layoffs back then uh, but there's been a whole plethora of community-based uh people that have either been that, that have left uh because it's not easy being a community manager for this game it, it's it's not i i don't know personally um i know obviously the management of, of a community or multiple communities but when it comes to things like this game that has a lot of bugs, a lot of problems, a lot of optimization issues, and a lot of things that make you question, not just yourself, but question like, you know, you playing this game versus playing other games, and you're wanting solutions immediately. And Command Mike obviously can't action everybody's wishes because there's people sitting above him making all the decisions, calling all the shots, and of course telling him, you can tell the community that this is what they're getting and they're not getting anything else. And that's the, that's the problem, isn't it? Like, they deal with a lot of problems um, on a daily basis. So, uh, so yeah, shame to see Command Mike go. Um, thank you for the years. Thank you for all you've done because that's important as well. I don't know if Command Mike is actually going to see this, but um, I think it's just important to go, you know, to the forums, go over to his Twitter and just give a bit of thanks. Yes, if you don't like if you don't like him, then you don't have to kind of like post anything. But if you kind of like have seen it times, and we have posted on this channel times when Caban Mike has done good. Yes, he's done questionable things. Yes, he's had to relay information from the game team. But that's something again, as we said, and I was how I started this video. There's going to be things you like and don't like when it comes to like dealing with situations. But we can both and all of us in this community come together with a love and appreciation of Marvel Contest of Champions. And the community that's been that's been forged as a result, whether it's on YouTube, Discord, Twitch, uh, forums, look, it's an important thing about coming together. So uh, yeah, thanks to Caban Mike, eight plus years, maybe ten years, nearly it would be nearly ten years uh, of work for this game, and that's pretty impressive. You know, a lot of Caban staff haven't even survived that length of time or decided to stay for that length of time. So that should at least show that loyalty and appreciation uh, regardless as i said if you like or dislike him it's just the case of look 
he's shown loyalty. Where, you know, nowadays it's like difficult to see anybody giving any loyalty. In any case, thanks for watching this video. Thanks to Caban Mike. Check out some other content located on screen, and I'll see you all in the next video, whatever that will be covering. Uh, bye bye for now.